This time we're going to talk about how to make a crystal grid for um, for a chair. Okay, uh, I've talked quite a bit in the classes about making grids and layouts for underneath the massage tables or for layouts on top of people. Um, this one I'm making for a chair. Now I'm going to do this one on a fairly thick cardstock just for this example. But if you take a piece of plywood, like real thin plywood, you can mark it out, put some little gummy tack on the plywood itself for your crystals, and then place your crystals on top of that gummy tack, and you can have a semi-permanent crystal grid that you can set underneath of any specified chair. So what I've done on this piece already is you can kind of see that I've marked where the chair legs go, and I've marked north. So I've already chosen what I want to do for my grid. I've sketched it out on a piece of paper. I've already pulled together the crystals that I want to use. So I'm going to find the center of this grid. I found the center of each leg and put a dot in them. So I'm just going to do some sketch lines. First I'm going to do the X so we can see where the center of the chair is. So center of the chair is right here. It doesn't quite look right because the backs, the back of my chair, the, the uh, legs are closer together than the front of the chair, but this is going to be the center of our chair all the same. Okay? I want to keep nice straight lines between the legs as well so that I know where I want to put my perimeter pieces. So there's one. Who knew you were getting a version of this old house, huh? <laughs> two. Three and four. Okay. So now we have our perimeter laid out. We have our rough center for our, our grid. Now all we have to do is create it. So I like to start, when I make a crystal grid, I always like to start with kind of the corner markers. And when I do what's called a four point or six point grid or however many point grid, it's kind of a, kind of a deceptive phrase. It's not actually that many crystals that are used, there's one more. So I always start with the center, and my center in this case is going to be this pyramid. This pyramid is really nice because what it does is it pulls together the energies, it focuses them, and brings them straight up so that they do what they need to do right where they need to do it. Um, these are known as Satyaloka, Satyaloka crystals, and they're, I believe, from India, but I could be completely wrong on that, so please don't quote me. But they are a single termination crystal, and I always like to use these just outside of where the chair legs are going to go. I put them point out, natural point out, so there. And the reason I'm doing them point out is because I don't want to focus the, the energies from the world around me in. I'd rather focus what I'm intending out so that I'm more surrounded by it rather than having this intense building of not only the positive energies that I do want, but the negative energies I'm trying to do away with. Um, I don't want those being brought in and focused into the mix too. Okay, So I just put them on the outsides of where the legs are going to be. And I do this with tables too, with massage tables as well. The next thing that I like to do is I usually like to use these big bad boys. Now I know it seems like overkill to use these big guys when I'm using such tiny little seed crystals here. These tiny little ones carry an awful lot of power all on their own. and at the moment I don't have really small crystals to do my perimeter so I am kind of stuck using the big boys but what I'm gonna do is these all have single termination as well I'm gonna place these on the chair grid so that the points create a circle that goes clockwise for me when I do my energy work clockwise is positive clockwise is the direction of things progressing When I do things counterclockwise, that's when I'm trying to remove energies or I'm trying to kind of clear space to bring in something new. So now we have the, the protective grid part laid out. 
Now we're going to lay out the crystals for intention. My intention for this grid is to have something that helps support me doing my work. Helps to keep me focused, helps to keep me grounded, helps to keep me progressing through the job that I'm trying to do. So I'm going to start with the north, and in the north I'm going to put hematite, and I'm just going to follow this nice little eight-pointed grid that's going on here. In the northeast I'm going to put copper, in the east I'm going to put citrine, in the southeast I'm going to put amethyst, in the south I'm going to use carnelian. In the southwest, it's going to be Appetite. This is Blue Appetite, if you're curious. In the west, it will be Lapis. And in the northwest, I'm going to use Blue Tiger's Eye. Now, you want to kind of make sure that everything is pretty geometrically aligned. So this is where I may step away from my sketch lines a little bit. And then I always like to take uh, just a clear crystal point wand. I like to use this one exclusively and specifically for this purpose. And what I do is I start with the center point. This is where I draw my energy in and connect my grid. So I start with my center point. I draw triangles. In this case, it's triangles because it's a four point grid. One, two, three, four points. And I always go off to the left first, but I go in a clockwise manner. So from center, I go to the left corner across the top to the other point, down. Back up to the right corner, down to the bottom right, back. Down to the bottom right, across to the bottom left, back. Down to the bottom left, up to the top left, back. Give it a clockwise spin. I encompass the entire space. I allow the energy to raise. And now this grid is activated and ready to go. I can place the chair on it, and then I can sit on the chair. Not on the table, of course. That would be silly. But that's why I'd say you put it on plywood and sticky gum it down, so that way you can move this around a little bit. This grid is activated, all ready to go. When I sit in this grid, this grid will help me to keep my focus, help me to move forward with the work that I need to do so that I don't procrastinate nearly so much, which I'm horrible at and it will allow me to have more of a positive mental attitude towards the work that I'm doing. Hope this helped you out.